Hi, Christina. Um, I'm just making this video uh, regarding your email, so uh, I'm just going to go on my R Studio and show you what the problem probably is. You can probably just skip a little bit ahead. Oh, actually, here it is. All right, so um, you're having problems with uh, the variable, like identification, like change the variable. So yeah, you need a variable in order for whatever you're doing to be saved in the global environment. So in that case, uh, you can name it basically anything as long as it's like a regular word. So for this, like for number one, um, it's asking you to form a um, like a frequency table so first thing you'll want to do is of course write out the function in this case data parentheses m cars which is the data set you're working with dollar sign gear that's basically saying uh, take out the gear column and uh, MT cars that's what's telling our um, so I'm just going to call this uh, frequency. I think that's how she wanted it in the prompt. So by given a name and then using this less than and dash symbol, you're basically associating this variable to the function. So when I run it using control enter, see how it shows up. And then if you want to double check, I always type out the function or the variable again to see if it'll print out what I want, which it does. So that's cool. Um, yeah, and then if you want to change the variable, so like, um, yeah, you ever want to change the variable name, you can, like, I'll call mine Mark, I don't know, Mark's, I'm just giving a random name. You can just do it this way. and then see how you got a new variable with the same function. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you associate it. That's how you link um, a variable to the function. Um, and then you can use this to do other functions. So like to create this, so you'll use the transform, right? Transform, and then you can use the data from this. So frequency, uh, and then we'll call this table, like frequency table, or gear table, I guess. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you choose, um, something that makes sense. And then if I did it correctly, it should. See? And then. There you go. Oh, there you go. That was good. <laughs> um, I meant to type in um, table instead of data. But regardless, so that's how you change it. So you can basically um, change the, you know, you associate this function with the variable, which will show up in your global environment. And then you can also use this variable to do other functions. So you just insert the variable as an import for this function. And then you associate it to a new variable, in this case, gear table. And then, of course, you get the frequency table. But that's for the assignment. Hope this helps. Uh, just contact me again if you're still confused.